Hello everyone, this is COADB.com or the Coat of Arms database, and today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Patrick family. The first shown here simply states three fions, not technically a coat of arms, but it was found on the seal of William Patrick, who was born around the year 1180 of Malpas in County Cheshire, and he was the grandfather or father, I think grandfather, of William Patrick, who we will discuss next. William Patrick was a Lord of Malpas in County Cheshire. He married Beatrice Malpas and had a son named Robert Patrick. Coat of arms is ghouls, three mullets of six points argent. Another similar coat of arms with the mullet's oar and only five points. Crest, a dexter hand, proper, holding a cross, crosslet, fitchy, as borne by Josiah Patrick of Crown East or Crown Nest in County Worcestershire, England. I wasn't able to, to determine this for sure, but I believe this could be the arms of Lieutenant Colonel Josiah Patrick of Worcestershire. In the militia, he was promoted to that position of lieutenant colonel in 1843. Another ghouls, three pellets there on a chief or a lion passant sable. It's not stated who the bearer was on this, but it is very similar to the next coat of arms, which we see on the right side of this coat of arms in the monument. We see three pales there on a chief or a lion passant garden azure. And this was the coat of arms as borne by Sir Simon Patrick, Bishop of Eli. In 1697, he was born in Lincolnshire, the son of Henry Patrick, a thriving mercer. Another quarterly coat of arms. And in the first and fourth quarters, we see the arms of the Patricks of Scotland, Argent, a satire sable on a chief of the second, two roses of the first, all within a border ghouls, crest, a dexter hand erect, holding a satire proper. This was the coat of arms of William Ralston Patrick of Trierney, born 1838. He was the son of William Patrick, born 1770, of Roughwood. He was a lawyer who purchased the lands of Roughwood in County Eyre, Scotland in 1823, and he also later acquired Windy House. Here we see a family monument featuring some of the names and a depiction of the family coat of arms. And here we see William Ralston Patrick, and on the right we see his father, William Patrick. Another, this from Durham City, wasn't able to find the armature on this, but it is based on the arms of the Earls of Dunbar, who descended from Patrick I, born around the year 1152. He was Earl of Dunbar and Lord of Beanley, a 13th century Anglo-Scottish noble. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to find out who your ancestors were and whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com where we offer professional genealogy research services. Link in the description. Thank you very much.